Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. As we are Friday, October 18th, it's my birthday. So my sci-fi birthday haul came at the exact right time. Well, the first box that is. There are two boxes on its way. The second one will arrive in about three days. But the first one is here exactly on my birthday. So... Great on sci-fi. Um, I ordered these during Liddy Moon's um, two-year anniversary on YouTube. So there was a bigger discount and that was October 8th. So I was like, okay, 10 days uh, before my birthday. This is a sign I need to do a birthday sci-fi haul. And 10 days later... First box is already here, so I'm super excited to open this one because those have been on my wish list for so, so long. As you can see, it is a big box, so a lot to unpack here. I had to adjust my camera because otherwise it wouldn't fit on the screen. As we know, Sapphire is always really, really great with their packaging. And we already get a huge stack of bookmarks, as you can see here. This one was in the Dudette's Discord from Cake Tins. There was a Sapphire contest to make a bookmark. As you can see here, Averain, I hope I say your name correct, won the contest. I participated as well, but... I think this design is very worthy of the winning design. So here you have it, all the other bookmarks. But this one is the one I was most excited about to see because she really, really deserved it. And I was excited about this contest, as you can see. So really glad they do initiatives like this for artists or upcoming artists or just people who like um, to do this in their free time. The manga is really, really stuck in there, which makes me very happy because that means damage is almost impossible with all this bubble wrap. Alright, we have two stacks to go through for this first box. First, we have Run One and a Half from Rumiko Takahashi Volumes 21 and 22, looking absolutely gorgeous. I talked about this before because I got Volumes 1 and 2 very recently. Um, I talked about it then that uh, I was really excited about Rumiko Takahashi's work. I've been really enjoying it so far and I've been wanting to pick this one up. But there were a few uh, volumes, I think about 10 volumes that were severely out of print or out of stock actually at the time. So seeing on eBay how the prices went, that was really a bit scary to pick up such a big set because I didn't want to pay 100 for those volumes each. 
So I was a bit standoffish. Uh, will I be able to collect this one or not? And then I saw on Sci-Fi that those volumes had been restocked. I think about a month ago. So I've been really fi trying to find an excuse to make the big, big order to try and collect these all. So here we are with the extra discount from Lady Moon on her two year anniversary. So close to my birthday, we had the perfect excuse to uh, make this big order. We have volume 35 and 36, 27 and 28. 13 and 14. 15 and 16. 29 and 30. As you can see, all in absolute perfect condition. Next we have volumes 19 and 20, which was one of the out of print ones, if I'm not mistaken. 33 and 34, this one especially was hard to find. And the final volume, 37 and 38, this one was going for over 100 euro. Um, I think it was going for 120 to 150. So that one was the uh, toughest one um, to find before they were back in stock here on Sci-Fi. Not sure about other stores, but maybe there has been a reprint and it has been restocked in most stores. I checked it on Ball and there were a few of these volumes back in stock, but not definitely not all. And most of them are gone already, so maybe it was just a tiny reprint of some stock they found. Um, if you are interested, I would not wait too long to order it because it might be gone quickly. Or maybe not, maybe it was just temporary, it wasn't available on Mall. Because I think on Sci-Fi they are still already and available. We have 20, 23 and 24. 25 and 26 and 17 and 18 so for this haul this is what we've got as i said this one i had already so we have volumes 13 to 30 and then 33 to the end so i have one volume here that's still in the mail and then volumes 3 to 12 is still in the mail and should arrive in the next few days. That one, those ones, spoiler alert, are of course in the second box. 
And there are some more volumes in the second box that I'm really excited about that is all from different series, but nonetheless volumes that I have been wanting to pick up very, very badly. So, this is part one. Hope you are as excited as me because, as I said, picking up this volume, though, this set, um, has been on my radar for over a year. I've been talking about it in the Discord as well. At uh, how others were trying to collect this. If I should hold off for a reprint or not. Because those prices were really uh, scaring me. And uh, yeah. They had told me. Uh, Heads up. There is a reprint. And I think it was an actual reprint. Because if you can see. This is the old logo, so I think those ones were still in stock. And these are all the out of print ones, or well, out of stock ones at the time. Because those have the new Viz logo, as you can see here. So, do with that if you... If, so, do with that what you will. I am really excited that I finally have this set and for a really really reasonable price these ones were about 8 euro a volume this one I got I don't remember was it 3 euro or 4, 4, 4 euro I'm not sure anymore but it was a real steal so and I, I think 8 euro a volume is a real steal as well of course those ones with the new logo I remember those ones were uh, 9 euro a volume and euro more than uh, the other ones so of course with new prints come new prices obviously so i'm going to try to shelf these <laughs> try to make room for them because as you can see there in the back here is my current rumiko takahashi shelf so trying to fit these will be a challenge in itself <laughs> so I'll see you in the next part of the video. Bye-bye. And here we are with our second parcel on October 22nd. As I said, a few days later, a little bit after my birthday, as the first one arrived exactly on my birthday, I'm really excited what we'll get in this one. So let's not wait and just immediately open it. Of course, as always, Sci-Fire sends us a chunk of bookmarks. We have the competition one, the winning bookmark. Really happy to see that. This one is a new one. Most are new ones, I think. This one's pretty. Alright, and we have two parcels. So we're going to try to get out here. The packaging is always great, so it's really stuck in there. Alright. We have one and a half volumes 31 and 32, which we were missing, 7 and 8, 11 and 12, 9 and 10. We have 
Smoking Behind the Supermarket with You, Volume 3. If you remember our shopping trip to Antwerp, I got my very first volume. I read it the same night and I was so excited reading it. It's a really wholesome read, very mature, but not in an 18 plus way, just mature, two adults having very normal life as you would have once you reach about 25 and up. So really love reading that because I'm the demographic for that. So I was excited to pick up more volumes because the art is great, the story is very engaging, really like the main characters and just the overall vibes from it. Really it's just about vibes with this one, really love that. So we have Yagisa Fiance volume 8 right here, we got volumes 1 to 7 in our last sci-fi haul. And when we, I start reading it, I just read them all in one go, it's very addictive read, very um just very good writing and the art is superb really love the main characters so i couldn't wait until volume 8 was released it should have been released during our shopping trip but as i said right there it was already sold out because it's that popular so i'm really excited to have volume 8 right here and of course i'm going to read that probably tonight i'm really enjoying the anime as well I do prefer the manga still, but it's really nice to see the adaptation for the anime. Alright, next we have Run One Half Volumes 5 and 6, 3 and 4. And that will conclude the full set for Run One and a Half. There are two boxes here. Next we have Smoking Behind the Supermarket with You Volume. Two. So now we have all that's out currently, volumes 1 to 3, and last but not least, as you know I'm currently hunting Vasari, very much out of print shoujo story that I'm really love, um, that I'm really loving because the story is so well written, I don't understand why it hasn't had a reprint yet, but one of those out of print shoujo stories was Red River. It was almost as expensive and as hard to hunt down as Basara. And now they have decided to re release Red River. In Omnibus Farms, as you can see, volumes 1, 2, and 3 we have right here. So that really sets the tone for more of those shoujo volumes, such as Basara, Mars, Please Save My Earth. And of course, Red River. So I'm really loving the floppiness. It really reminds me of the skip beat ones, which I really love. Those are my favorite kind of omnibuses to read. So I was hoping it would be like this and not like the this big. So I am really, really happy. And of course, I'm excited to see this as a reprint because maybe if we all pick this one up, we will see more reprints of the titles mentioned before. And maybe we'll finally get um, seven seats as an English print. Who knows? So this one I was really, really excited about because I thought I would probably never own it. Hunting down Basara has been very challenging to do so on a budget. So I'm not sure if I was prepared to do the same for all those other shoujo volumes. So there we have it. Our second box which concludes our birthday haul with our sci-fi order right here i hope you enjoyed this video and of course i hope you have a very lovely day enjoy bye bye